I'll eat banana pudding any way I can get it. I grew up eating fresh, kind of warm, homemade pudding. So the warm version is kind of what I prefer. You're gonna need brand name wafers on this. You cannot use generic. You're gonna chop up your bananas and layer your bananas and wafers. If you don't really like a lot of bananas, don't put a lot. It's just a personal, you know, just do you. And build that up to however much you want. You're gonna need two cups of milk, two eggs, a cup of sugar, vanilla extract, and four tablespoons of flour. Now, I used my egg yolks for this because I wanted to make a meringue. So, if you don't want to make a meringue, you can use the whole eggs. You're going to turn that on to about medium, medium low heat. My stove runs kind of hot, so medium low is usually what I put it on. And you're going to stir until it becomes a consistency of, of pudding. You'll know kind of when it's ready. It takes about 15 minutes or so. Um, don't be like me. Use a whisk. It, it works out better in the end. And, you know, kind of cream everything together before you get started. I didn't really show that part. So you're going to, once that's done, you will just layer that over your bananas and wafers. You can kind of get your spoon, spatula, get down in there, get in between the cracks. Um, <clears throat> and just top with more vanilla wafers you're left over and waste not, want not. You know, I used every little crumb. Um, like I said, I put a meringue. You can stop at this point, but I put a meringue on mine. I just think it looks pretty and I'm not a meringue lover or hater, so it doesn't really matter to me. You'll want to serve immediately and enjoy.